my name is Hannah and welcome to my video about smoothies. Here's the thing about smoothies, my friends. There are a lot of smoothie recipes out there. I know when you go vegan, go plant-based, you're like, I need to learn all these smoothie recipes. Look at this amazing recipe I found. Nothing against smoothie recipes, but I find them futile. I find them obsolete because you have all that you need to create a wonderful smoothie without having to use someone else's recipe, you can get creative as long as you know a few helpful tips. The first thing you have to know, and I know you know I'm gonna say this, you need a very good blender. You specifically need the one blender that I very much love. This is not sponsored however much I would love it to be, but the Vitamix is the best blender on the market in my opinion. I know other people who just, they didn't wanna do the investment, they didn't wanna spend the money, and so they got the Ninja or some other inferior blender thinking, oh, it's a blender, what's the difference? One's just marketed well, so it, it, uh, it costs more. No, 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 no. The Vitamix is the best blender. It has an incredibly powerful motor and it makes things very, 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 very smooth. It can do lots of things, great customer service, amazing company, there's a warranty, and you will end up using it you know, twice a day, three times a day, because you love it so much and it's really gonna be a great investment in your health because you're gonna be excited to make smoothies when they come out so smooth and delicious. If you're on a budget and you don't wanna spend $500 on a smoothie, I feel ya. At Bed Bath & Beyond, <laughs> they sell the Vitamix and they always have 25% coupons that come in the mail. Keep an eye out for that. That's how I got my blender that was the lowest of the line Vitamix. You can also buy a refurbished Vitamix. I think you can buy these through the Vitamix website or through personal sellers. You do not have to buy the top of the line Vitamix. Those are great and all. I have the lowest one and I love it. I don't need anything more. And after, you know, eight years or so, my vessel, <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but the, the jar, the jug thing that on top needed to be replaced. And so I got a new one and I didn't have to buy a full new base. I just got the, the new jug. And I feel like that is pretty good given that I use it about two or three times a day. <laughs> one more thing about Vitamixes being so expensive. I feel you, I do, but just think of it like you are investing in your health. You are going to really kick it up a notch. If you're ready to like get serious about having smoothies every day, getting in that kale and that spinach and the berries and the bananas and the cilantro and all the fun things you can add to a smoothie, a Vitamix is not only going to inspire you, but it's gonna taste so much better. So save up, manifest the money. Maybe you can cut out your Starbucks for one month and you're gonna save that or whatever it is, whatever that like superfluous, extraneous cost that you have in your life that you know, you know what, I spend a little bit too much money on apps. Do people spend money on apps? As for fruit, you must use frozen fruit. If you wanna use fresh fruit, I mean, it's your funeral. If you use frozen fruit, all frozen fruit, it's gonna make the smoothie thicker and more delicious and icy without having to add ice, and it's gonna be just the perfect texture. If you want to have fresh fruit in your smoothie, that's fine, I do it sometimes too. Just make sure it's paired with frozen fruit or else you'll be a very, very sad person. I really love to use bananas as my base, frozen bananas. If I don't have frozen bananas, yes, I will use non-frozen, it's all good, but most of the time I'm trying to use frozen bananas so, here's a bunch of bananas I bought today. These are not ripe. When there's no more green on the peel, there's some brown and black spots, and they're nice and soft and sweet. That is a ripe banana. You might be like, oh, I don't like the texture of banana. I feel you on that. I probably wouldn't peel one that's super, super ripe either. But freeze it, you're not gonna notice it in your smoothie. It's gonna make your smoothie so sweet and delicious. I put banana in almost all my smoothies. It's a rare day that I do not put a banana in my smoothie. When you're going to freeze your ripe bananas, please be sure to peel them. You're not just going to take it off and put it into the freezer. Peel the peel, put it in a bag, and that is how you freeze a banana so that when you are ready to make a smoothie, you just pop it out and put it right into the blender. I like three or four bananas in one smoothie as a base. It depends on like what the other fruit is, and it really depends on you how many calories you want to consume. One banana is about 100 calories. You can buy organic frozen fruit at the store, or let's say you have a bunch of delicious organic strawberries from the market and they're starting to get a little soft, go a little bad, you don't really wanna pop one in your mouth, 
mouth, just rinse them and pop them in a bag. No need to remove the tops because those will blend right up. Here's another tip, another note about your blender. Know thy blender. Every blender is like a little bit different. My sister has a Vitamix, my mother has a Vitamix, all my friends have Vitamixes, apparently it's a cult. And when I mix these at their houses, I sort of have to like let them do it because it's just not quite the same. I don't know, like different styles have different things, different amount of liquid and I always like to like sort of give mine a little shake. Other people like to use the tamper. You'll just like, you'll get real familiar with your blender so that your smoothie will just be this event in your life and it will be an event that you know, you know personally. Yes. And speaking of liquid, the amount of liquid you put in your smoothie is everything besides getting a Vitamix and always using frozen bananas. And that's the thing with a recipe, like if someone says like a cup of orange juice, that might work for their blender, but I sort of feel like it just doesn't always work for every single blender. So I always like to start off like air on the side of not enough liquid and then add more as I need it. You can use fruit juice, you can use plant milk, like soy milk, hemp milk, something like that or you can just use plain water. Most of the time I use water as my liquid because it's just cheaper and right there and I don't have to go to the store. And here's why no ice, guys. Do not put ice in your smoothies, whatever you do. Sometimes if I don't have frozen fruit and I decide I need a colder smoothie and I'm only using fresh fruit, I'll put the ice in. Every time I regret it because it makes it watery. It just takes the flavor away. The frozen fruit is your ice. The frozen fruit is the cold and don't add any more ice in. You know what I'm talking about, right? The ice just ruins it. I encourage you to get real creative with your smoothies. Like do your own thing. I'm gonna show you a few of my favorite smoothies that are just sort of like something that you can play with and do your own thing. But the truth is, I feel like once you know smoothies, once you're just one of those like master smoothie makers, you just know some fruit is weird in a smoothie and maybe it's not up your alley, maybe you like it, it's not my thing. For me, things like watermelon, cantaloupe, any other kind of melon, it just like doesn't go well in a smoothie. It's a very high water content fruit and so it just doesn't, I don't know, just not the same. I also think melon sort of digests differently when it's mixed with a bunch of fruit personally. Also grapefruit, I love grapefruit on its own. I like to eat grapefruit plain, but when you put it in a smoothie, it's just like this overwhelming sour that doesn't, I don't think, contribute to the flavors. That said, I once made a mango grapefruit juice smoothie and that was actually very good, so maybe don't listen to me. Let's talk seeds, let's talk fats. Smoothies are a wonderful way to get those water-rich, fiber-filled, water content fruits and vegetables into you. It's such a healthy way to start the day or even have as your lunch. But I personally like to have a little bit of fat, a little bit of protein in my smoothie as well. It helps keep me satiated and a little bit more full and I feel like it just helps me feel more balanced. The three seed trial that you're gonna see a lot of super vegans put in their smoothie all the time is hemp seed, flax seed, and chia seeds. Hemp seed, wonderful on its own, just throw it right in. Flax seed, I think it's better if you grind it before. You can grind it in your Vitamix, actually, because the Vitamix does everything. And then store the ground flax seeds in the fridge in a small container. I personally don't buy ground flax seeds because I find that they go rancid, but they're sitting on the shelf in the grocery store. So I buy whole flax seeds and grind them myself. And chia seeds, it's really best if you soak them in water for at least a few minutes before putting them in your smoothie. You can also do this, put some in a container and store it in the fridge. It'll last for a few days, maybe a week. If you're in a period in your life where you need to gain weight or maybe you're pregnant and you need more calories, hi, me a few months ago. <laughs> I found it really hard to get enough calories when I was pregnant. I didn't want to eat anything. And so I added a lot of peanut butter to my smoothies every single day. Nut butter is peanut butter. It's just such a great way to add more calories, especially for those of you who want to eat plant-based but you feel like you're just losing too much weight. Add in the nut butters to your smoothie. So many calories, fats, and protein. The next tip you need for an amazing smoothie is green. I put greens in almost every single smoothie I make because it's such a fantastic way to get more minerals in and really nourish your body with fantastic, wonderful plants that this land has given us. Kale, collard greens, spinach, so many wonderful things. You can put herbs in there. The three main greens I like to put into my smoothie are kale, spinach, and collard greens, but there are so many wonderful greens you can put in there. There are so many different types of kale. Try to focus on a variety because a variety of plant food is the number one factor to having a healthy gut. 
when you are making your smoothie, whether you have a Vitamix or not, blend it till it is very, very smooth because we want smoothies, not chunkies. Really just like let it get nice and liquefied. That's how it's gonna like really taste like a Jamba Juice smoothie or that professional smoothie from your favorite juice bar. And lastly, while this is a foundation, these are just tips so you can make a smoothie without a recipe. Follow your heart, get creative. I love to add celery to my smoothie. I just think it's a great way to get celery in because it's so good for you. And I just love the flavor of celery. It's like salty in a good way in your smoothie. I love adding cilantro to my smoothie. You can add passion fruit, whether blended up or whole at the end. You can add dates or romaine lettuce. Um, I heard you can also add frozen veggies, like steamed and then frozen, whether you do it yourself or buy frozen veggies. It's like a nice way to get more veggies in and it adds a bulkiness to the smoothie. So let's get into showing you three delicious smoothies. Again, these are not recipes, just suggestions and to show you some of my favorites. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this inspires you to make smoothies in the summer heat and make them every day and enjoy them because they're so packed full of nutrients, vitamins, minerals, zinc, the things, and the end. You know why I have a lot of energy right now? Because I had a smoothie. I had multiple smoothies while I was making this video. <laughs>